All right, guys. So some people got really butthurt on my last Wise Watch video where all I said was, hey, it arrived. So in this video today, I'm going to do a setup for y'all. So watch the setup guide if you want to see how to set up your new Wise Watch. And I will also be going over some stats of how it compares to my Apple Series 6 watch in another video. So stay tuned for that. Sorry for the camera shake. I'm holding it and it's not working out too well. All right. So like in the last video, I said my phone was dead for recording. So I have my secondary phone here and we're going to go ahead and set up the Wise watch. So what you need to do is turn it on and you're going to get this scan QR code with Wise app. So here's our Wise app. We're going to go ahead and hit add the top left add device and lifestyle wise watch 47 because we have a 47 millimeter we're gonna allow access to our camera now it's pairing so you gotta make sure your bluetooth is on as well scan in a little bit closer yes keep all using so I'm going to set this one up on my right wrist because we're going to compare it to the Apple Series 6 watch. User guide, swipe swipe left to see apps, swipe right to see data, swipe down to see notifications, and up to see shortcuts. Swipe right for back and press to re uh, long press to restart and shut down. Long press the screen to select face. Enjoy your wise watch. Well, that was pretty simple. Yes, we're going to pair. We're going to allow. Enable background refresh. Dismiss. So now it is updating firmware. So I'll come back soon. As it's done. Okay, so it said update complete. It rebooted the device. Here we have our clock faces that we can select from. We can come in. We can change it color-wise, style-wise. It's all kinds of cool faces. Add. So we'll remove this one. Add. So you can have three apparently installed at once. It's going to go ahead and sync. Now, I have noticed that the syncing of the Ys compared to the Apple is a lot slower, but we're also non cellular, straight Bluetooth, and it is an Android device versus an iPhone. So if you have a Android phone, it might work a little bit better. Now, I know somebody in the comments is going to make uh, a comment about this, um, my board. So this is the area that we work on the robot vacuum. So that's oil and dirt and stuff, and it doesn't come off. So MDF is going to soak it up. So to the person that's going to make the comment about the dirty table, go ahead and make it because there's your explanation. All right, and it's just about done adding. All right, update successful. I guess I gotta wait for it. Let's go ahead and put it on my wrist. So, me being right handed, putting it on with my left hand is kind of a challenge, but we'll get it done for y'all. All right. And still, I'm not a huge fan of this wrist strap, but we're making it work. All right. Let's go ahead and open it. So, we have fitness. Three, two, one, go. So this is gonna record. You do have to start this for mileage, BP, pace, and calories. We're gonna pause it. And what is this? Time of this exercise is too short to record in exercise. So we have heart rate monitor. Forty-two. Let's go ahead and just compare it really quick with the Apple Watch. One hundred forty-four. So they're not far off, which is good. So we also have a timer. We have a sleep mode. We have statistics for data. We have the uh, oxygen blood level. So it's going to tell us our oxygen blood count, which is really important for the COVID. That's one thing that everyone's looking for, and that watch having it is awesome. So 
trying to find it on my Apple Watch, but that'll be another video that I'm going to be doing anyway. Ninety-eight percent, so that's good. All right, this is just kind of awkward. Sorry. So let's see. So we go up. We have settings. We can go into settings. Change wallpaper. Um, go in. Change brightness. Timer. I don't know what the star is. Shortcut. Um, weather. Eighty-five and cloudy. We got a timer. I mean alarm. We have sleep data. messages data all right so guys that pretty much wraps up the wise watch setup obviously you can do a lot of different things we can come in on our phone we can check out our data our calories our steps which most people are probably going to look at this after they work out anyway it's got a stretch reminder so it's going to tell us to go ahead and stretch there's a lot of cool features on this $38 or $40 watch, honestly. Body type, you can change, birth year, so we can add all of our statistics to it, how much we weigh. Um, there is supposed to be mods coming to where you can add third-party software, but we'll see. You can change the orientation of the wrist wear, which I'll have to after doing this video. Rise to wake, so you can change it to where it turns on and off when you move your wrist but yeah pretty cool do not disturb feature for messaging now you cannot respond on the messages with the apple watch i mean you cannot respond to the messages from the iphone on this i don't know about android i don't have an android unfortunately i will have to do some more research and i'll make a video later on talking about that talk about it running in the background and with that being said, guys, this, this Wise Watch is ready to go. I do like how it's a little bit bigger than my Apple Watch. It At first, I wasn't thinking I'd like it, but it still feels really good. It's light, and it's got all the features that I, I would need on a, a watch if I didn't want to pay the extra money for the Apple Watch. So definitely stay tuned. I'm going to have a lot more videos on this as I learn more about it and how it works. Um, also, in here, you have your activity goals, guys. I forgot to go over that one. That is a big thing that everyone's going to want to do is change our activity goals to meet their demands and their needs. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Let me finish that video out a little bit better. I know that was kind of crappy. So with that being said, I do have the Apple Watch and the Wise Watch. Wow. I'm covering up the camera. Wise Watch on. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go for a five-mile run right now. And I will make an update video on how it worked compared to the Apple Watch Series 6. So 44 millimeter Series 6 Apple Watch and the Wise 47 millimeter are gonna be put to the test, obviously right and left wrist. So we will swap them and do another video after that just to make sure that there's no, no gray lines for wrist, you know, possibly sensor location because it's swapped. We just wanna eliminate all possibilities. So if you like this video guys, hit that like button and comment below if you have any questions. I'll try to make videos on all the questions that I can. All right, later.